welcome back to another episode of Sit and Spin with me, your host, Joe Royland. Sorry I was not able to get a show out for you last week. My new work schedule has just been kicking my butt, and it's been hard to get even anything done in the little free time that I have again now these days. But we are back, even if it's a couple days late from its normal Friday schedule, with a new episode. And today we're going to be talking about the return of the band Washed Out. And their new album, Mr. Mellow. Now, we first talked about Washed Out way back in season one of the show, way back in episode number 24, when we covered the band's 2013 album, Paracosm, which was one of, if not my favorite album of that year. And I say they and the band, but really it's primarily one guy by the name of Ernest Green, who was the singer, songwriter, musician, and producer behind Washed Out, and of course, one of the founding fathers of the chill wave scene of music. The band got their first shot into the mainstream when the song Feel It All Around off of their 2009 EP Life of Leisure was used as a theme song to the TV show Portlandia, and they followed that up with two full-length albums, uh, 2011's Within and Without, and the previously mentioned Paracosm from 2013. Now, this is not only just the band's latest record, their first in four years, but it's also their first album on the Stone's Throw record label, which is primarily known as a stoner label for hip-hop artists and is the label of the artist Peanut Butter Wolf. Instead, normally the records have been on the sub-pop label, and you kind of can get a little bit to hint of that when you kind of look at the artwork on the back cover and look, hey, there's a big old doobie underneath all these cool little buttons featuring the song titles. And also, one of the first things you hear when you put the album on is the opening interlude with starts off with a bit of music and then you hear like somebody coughing after taking a big hit and somebody else laughing about it. So you get that, that evidence of that right off the beginning with the opening interlude title cut title card, I should say. Um, the album itself is kind of a collection of songs and interludes, shifting back and forth between them, and it's kind of a short record, too. It clocks in at just under a half an hour, half an hour, it's like 29, 33, I think. And thematically, it deals with issues of how we choose to combat the doldrums of life, uh, be it work, stress, or even boredom, and the way we cope with that, either if it's by listening to music, or indulging in illicit substances, or some legal ones or a combination of all of them in an effort to chill and mellow out. And as with all Washed Out albums, it's a bit different than the ones before it. Um, while Within and Without was kind of a get your groove on, late night booty knocking album, a bit of a techno vibe to it, and Paracosm was more of an organic approach to composing actual songs with use of antique instruments mixed in with the electronics. At first, I was a bit, I don't want to say so much I was disappointed, but I was a little put off by it. I don't know why I was expecting something different, because that's pretty much been the pattern of all the records that Ernest Green has done. Um, but I, I guess maybe I was just expecting something more along the lines of Paracosm, or at least, should I say, that's what I was hoping for. So when I didn't instantly get that, it was kind of like, oh, I don't know how I feel about this. But the record has definitely grown on me, and I, I dig it a lot now. And Mr. Mello has little bits of all the sound styles that Ernest Green has kind of done on all the previous Washed Out albums and EPs, but also incorporates some new stuff into the, the sounds as well. The album opens with the interlude title card, which we previously mentioned, and segues into the first full track, the one you're hearing right now, which is called Burnout Blues, which features Green's multi-tracked, echoey vocals, kind of trademark of a sound, against this bouncy keyboard and bass line. That's followed by another interlude, Time Off, which has another kind of spoken word passion change in it, and that shifts into the next fulling song, which is called Floating By, that uh, glides on with this cool bossa nova backing beat. From there, you go into the next song, which is track I've Been Daydreaming My Entire Life, which kind of mixes a little bit of the spoken word audio sample interludes with actual song parts. That track then shifts into the disco groove of Hard to Say Goodbye. It's kind of a French disco sounding song that would feel right at home on an album by like Air or even Daft Punk. And then back to another spoken word interlude passage with the track Down and Out, where Green kind of expands on what music means to him. It's really cool to hear that section. That floats into the psychedelic sounding instrumental uh, Instant Calm, and then back to kind of a disco and even more of a house music vibe on the album's first single, which is a track called Get Lost, which also features a great horn and uh, 
drum line and drums are in it really cool and later in the song it kind of dissolves into this discordant jazz saxophone stuff which was really different uh from there we go into the album's last two tracks i told you it's really short it goes by really quick which is the uh intro easy does it and then the closing cut million miles away and these are two of my favorites because they feel like they could have come right off of paracosm so obviously i like that album. i'm gonna like these tracks and you feel like you could kind of just drift off into the echoey gauzy mellowed out vibe of them and you can just kind of float away with them in your chill out sound now aside from the music on mr mellow the record is also a visual album too, which features a full length DVD. If you actually open the package up, there's a spot for each CDs obviously in the player of course. And then you've got the DVD here, which was something that Green worked on for two years to accompany the audio portion of the album. And it's kind of a, a cool trippy mix of stop motion and computer generated animation uh, with crazy visuals and stuff. And it's a, it's a groovy watch. Uh, probably a lot cooler after a couple of drags off of a big fatty or a nice big bong hit. Have not explored that myself, but um, you know, if you choose to partake, I think you'd really appreciate it a lot more. Uh, the record's also going to be out on vinyl. Again, that, that was something else I was a bit disappointed about. That it wasn't an initially available day and date on vinyl. This came out at the end of June, and I know I'm just getting around to reviewing it now. The vinyl is actually going to be out on August 10th, which is about two weeks from I think today. And uh, it's gonna come on a yellow mustard colored slab of vinyl kind of to match the color scheme of the album. And that's a cool trend that I've always appreciated with washed out albums. Paracosm came on this really nice violet purple vinyl uh, with and without us on white vinyl. So I'm glad to see that he's continuing that trend with vinyl releases. And you know, now I'm just gonna have to buy the record again so I can have it on vinyl, but there you go. As, as with most small labels, there's always a bit of a delay in getting the vinyl manufactured. So if you wanna wait for that, wait and pick up the vinyl. That is of course gonna come with a copy of the DVD too, because it's kind of a double thing. It's audio and visual as well. But uh, another great, even if short new record from Ernest Green, AKA Washed Out, that's out now. Uh, the band are out on tour, mostly gonna be on tour through August. I think they're gonna be passing through Boston. Doubtful I'm gonna get a chance to go see them as much as I would like that, but check online for uh, local dates. Maybe they'll be playing in an area near you. In the meantime though, go out and pick up the new Washed Out album, Mr. Mello, especially if you're just looking for something to chill out to, and I can tell you right now I need it. So uh, that is the show for this week. Next week, I'm really excited. Just got it in the mail yesterday morning. Um, we're going to be reviewing the new album from Alice Cooper, Paranormal. Haven't even had a chance to spin it yet, but I'm looking forward to hearing it. And uh, tune in next week for that one. And we will talk to you next time on Sit and Spin. See you then.